Hey, Ethan's. Jesus Freak 777 won the Halo Award for what he said in the, this video that I'm about to uh, show you clips from. Links over there if you want to watch the whole thing. Uh, so let's hear what he had to say. Hey YouTube, Jesus Freak with you once again. There's a guy on YouTube running around saying that I and a couple other YouTubers are in, basically he's insinuating that we're in dire spiritual danger that we need to repent because we have atheists that are agreeing with us. Yes, recently we did put up some videos talking about a common topic and there have been many atheists that have actually sided with us and said, yeah, we agree with what you're saying. So that to this person instantly makes what we are saying null and void, invalidates it. I think that is actually silly. Let's say that I was working in a soup kitchen anonymously and a couple of atheists came in and they recognized me. They said, hey, JF, I think it's great what you're doing, you know? Wow, what a great thing. How, that's a, it's a nice, kind thing that you're doing. Should I lay down my serving utensils and cease to help people simply because some non-Christians, some atheists um, support what I'm doing? How about a politician or even a pulpit pimp gets caught red-handed doing some some criminal activities something that's blatantly illegal illegal by governmental on a governmental basis and illegal morally or wrong morally and I stand up and I say hey what you're doing is wrong you need to stop that meanwhile some atheists also stand up and they say hey what you're doing is wrong okay so first things first don't vlog and drive okay bad idea Absolutely. I mean, how much more clear could you make that? I mean, just because we agree on um, a, a topic, it doesn't make it wrong. Um, we don't have to agree on every single thing. I have my own subscribers will say, you know, you made that video and I don't, I don't particularly agree with you about that. And that's fine. The people who subscribe to my videos, but then I say one thing that they don't agree with and also ah, I'm unsubscribing. So I'm supposed to agree with every single freaking thing you say or else you, you don't want to hear anything I have to say? See, I have a problem with that kind of mentality. And so uh, Christianity and other religions are not alone in this type of mentality. It happens within us too. It, you know, if, if I post videos about the Bible being false and God's not real, I, I have plenty of people go, yeah, that's right. But if I say whoever they particularly like in a political form is not the best candidate all of a sudden I'm the bad guy you know we have to agree on every single thing or else we can't even associate it's ridiculous why can't you like someone for their views over here and understand that you do disagree over here there's nothing wrong with that and he illustrates it perfectly uh, with the two examples that he gives uh, certainly those are two occasions where atheists and Christians can both agree this is a good thing, and just because we agree doesn't change anything. So, uh, so well done there, Jesus Freak. I, I think that's absolutely um, well put uh, up to uh, this point here. Uh, so let's hear what else you have to say. Sure, the source of the morality that is underlying is different sometimes. Well, I'd say that it's the same morality all the time for the vast majority of everything, but I guess that's a fair enough statement. Um, you know, there are certain connotations in what you say that I, I would probably take exception, but I don't know if that's what you were actually saying, so I'll give you that one. People tend to want to emulate things that are right, even if they don't understand that they're godly, and that is where the conversation can be had we can explain the reason this is right is because it is godly okay I disagree with Jesus freaks premise here that you know it's right because it's godly I think it's right because it's right um, but he is correct and I do agree with him on the idea that this is how people get sucked into the religion is you know if when when you can say that well this is what my religion teaches and someone goes well I do agree with that it gives them more things to uh, to go along with I made this exact same comparison in my response to the uh, expelled um, film where I talked about the I it wasn't that evolution took me away from religion it was the fact that religious people were against evolution yet 
I'm looking at the evidence in front of my face that they're saying doesn't exist and going, uh, well, if you're wrong about this, what else are you wrong about? So again, to back up Jesus Freak here, if you are going to try and say that it's wrong to support atheists because they are in the right, and so you instead support someone that is obviously in the wrong, it will make other people go, well, if you're wrong about that, what else are you wrong about? So I guess on a whole, we still agree. You know, most people come to Christ because they hear God's truth and slowly, they start agreeing with certain points and to the point where they realize that it makes sense and they agree with a lot of the things of Christianity. While what I what he said I would say is probably true, um, there is a difference between understanding that don't kill, don't steal, love your mom and dad, turn the other cheek, so to, you know all, all those other little things that are in the Bible. Going, yeah, I agree with all those. That's that's fine. But where all of a sudden you jump and go, yes, I believe in talking snakes in a 6,000-year-old earth and, uh, and there was a, f a global flood that has no evidence for it and, and you buying into the rest of it. So, yeah, sure, that happens. I, I, I can concede that part. I just don't get it. Which brings me to my final point that I want to make up, and that has to do with yoke up. Yoke up um, recently had a disagreement with another Christian, which is uh, Joe's Rambles uh, here on YouTube, or at least formerly Joe's Rambles, because he has now closed his channel. I won't go into all the details on all that because it really doesn't matter. But uh, Yoke up had a problem with the fact that Joe was good friends with other atheists here on YouTube, namely me. I like Joe. Joe and Tanda are wonderful people. Um, they went through a horrible experience with their uh, son Brett, who they lost to, to uh, brain cancer, and um, and and in that there were a lot of supportive people because we were people, because people can understand religious or not. It sucks to lose a child, um, so we all agreed on this. Just like Jesus Freak pointed out here so well. But Yokup seems to have a problem with that. He has a problem with people associating with other people and just showing human compassion. Because apparently, if God isn't involved, it makes it wrong. It's utterly pathetic, in my opinion, that anyone would chastise someone for accepting human compassion, something that you claim your God is so high on. It's shameful to you, Yoke Up, to be so hypocritical. Again, I'm not saying this is a Christian problem. This is a human problem. And we all need to understand it and get off our high horses. But hey, don't take my word for it. Think for yourselves.